Hi everyone and welcome back. I did a poll earlier on this afternoon asking what sort of video you want to see and a updated desk tour won by I think 48% actually. So I want to start off with where I keep, my camera's there, where I keep all of my colouring books and my PDFs. PDFs all at the bottom. I keep my switch down here as well. Any other artsy bits, so if you've watched me for a little while, you know what I use hers bear with my pan pastels, which are here. The four trays that I own and all the bits and pieces that I use with them. And like I said, all my PDFs, um, you know, these to lean on. I've got a couple of them. Pokemon cards from Happy Meals, I believe, I think they are. To-do lists, tutorial books. Yeah, um, I think I do need to do more of an updated collection because as you can see, it's uh, it's growing. It's growing, so I do need to update that, actually. And I was you around. Excuse the dog ball, but they are behind me in the crates. Um, my husband is actually working from home at the minute, so this is half my area, half his work area behind me. So you've seen this before, this colouring cart. This is the new one, exactly the same design. I just unfortunately couldn't get that colour. So I've made this into all of my water medium and this mostly colour pencil. So I've tried filming this once and trying to open pencil cases one handed wasn't working. So I've pre-opened them. So I've got the full set of the Prisma colours. Probably my most used pencils, to be honest. I've got a few different sharpeners in here. My crank one that I absolutely love. Anything in here is anything to do with blending. Yeah, I've got a couple of short, really sharp prisms as well there. Um, but yeah, anything to do with blending is just kept in here. Uh, this pencil case is going to be easier to... I put the... Um, Mod Podge, the Extreme Glitter, so that's what it looked like with nothing. And that's what it looks like. I'm 32, I couldn't help myself and I love putting glitter on everything. It's even on my phone case. So yeah, all my Holbein pencils are in here. I think, yeah, I've only opened the one up just to give you a little idea. Um, we've got an empty cup that I'll probably put uh, gel pens or anything like that. I use this and put a blending solution inside it and use my stumps to dip into the, the blending pencil. Uh, sandpaper to clean off the stumps. My colour uh, color pencil powder blender that I use with the polychromos pencils. Uh, in this one, I believe, one way around I've wrap, is the Artezas, another favourite of mine. Really good quality for the money. They do really remind me of the, the polychromos them actually, which are right next to them. So I keep them right next to each other. And I've got a couple of uh, blender pencils. These Derwent ones are by far my favourite ones that I own. Oh gosh, you even look back in there now. There we go. Oh, we did it one-handed. Yeah, the amount of packs that I've gone through with the, the Derwent ones are unbelievable actually. So I keep any anything glitter related, like loose glitter in here, as well as all my embossing powders and glues, etc. Got a couple of inks that I keep in here now. The pink pencil case is housing the Castle Arts pencils, which I'll be honest, they're not my favourite. And in this large pencil case are all the Black Widows, which again, I've got to be honest, are not my favourite. So I'll whiz around and we'll move this round. So I've got tissues on here for when I'm dampening the brushes off. My colour wheel that I use every time that colour. Spray bottle, my jar of water. I've got the full set of ink tents in there. I believe there's 72 I want to say. And the um, Faber Castell Albert Dura watercolour pencils which are really becoming one of my favourite things to play with. I keep a old dishcloth, obviously you can see I use it for paint. Um, the Kindash tray, the main reason that I 
but this is to use with nail colour tools and it does work and it does do a fantastic job. Um, I believe that you can put acrylic, you can see me there, hi, uh, on the back, but there's no way that I'm risking it with this. I do love it too much to risk putting acrylic on it. So whenever I am using acrylic, I'll more or less try and remember now just to use a scrap piece of paper, fold it up and then chuck it away when I've finished. I've got the Pretty Excellent palette, which I have got, as you can see, underneath an empty one because this broke. The packaging broke, which is that old one that's down there. And they sent me a new, just the palette, not the actual paint. They just sent me a palette out, which was, you know, good of them. So yeah, that's them watercolours. The Winsor & Newton, the very original ones that I started off with. Again, really, really good watercolour paints. With my terrible swatches from when I first got them. Very messy, very loved palette. So that's me. Yeah, this is the swatches of the Pretty Excellent. Look at the, the vibrancy of these. They are really, really good. Uh, the Paul Rubens. I might struggle actually getting these out if I can find the swatch chart. Yeah, here we go. It's easy for me to show you the colours of these. I mean, of course, the lights isn't going to pick up how beautiful they actually are, but I promise you they really are them. We've got... I've got my watercolour... Is it watercolour ink? Liquid watercolour. I use this to mix with any sort of watercolour to add, um, to make it more of a pastel tone. And I find that it works really well for that job. Talking about pastel. Let me just move this dirty dishcloth off my lap. I know it's not as professional, but uh, I can't drop my webcam around everywhere, unfortunately. So this is the Prima water, um, watercolour the pastel set. And these two individual ones are from GD Colour off Etsy. And as you can see, they are very similar. Um, they're not the greatest. I've got to be honest, they're not the greatest. I do prefer the Prima ones. But hey ho, you live and learn. I've got the Decadent Pies one. I think this is my most used the um the amount of different colours that you can actually get from this palette for making skin tones is really really good. Um I actually got the complexion set but I still like tend to reach for this one. Uh the complex complexion tongue twister. So like I said this is the basic uh, skin tones because I'd got so used to using the decadent pies one when I'd got this, I'd sort of, well, um, you know, I do need to practice a little bit more with that one. And probably my second favourite is the Vintage Pastels. Now, these colours, as you can see, they're not that common in any any type of watercolour palettes. That's why I think this palette is very, very special. There's nothing like it on the market, I don't think. That charcoal colour is the blackest black that you can ever want. Like I said, there's a lovely range of pastel tones in there, more, more muted pastel. Yeah, another favourite of mine. I've got, I'm not going to open them up, but that, where are you? That houses the Corino watercolour pencils. I wanted to test that I liked watercolour pencils before I got the uh, Faber Castell, the larger set, just to test. <laughs> I've got a couple of palettes down here that I use for mixing watercolours. Uh, yeah. And the makeup tools are what I actually use. I can get them out on here and show you. Uh, for the distress inks. There's a few in here that I haven't tried yet. I do need to swatch them out. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really good for backgrounds. Like I said, when you're using the makeup sponges, it makes the job a lot easier. Right move this back round. So usually I'll be sat here and I've got either trolley right at the side of my cart, whatever you want to call it. On top of the desk I have, so this pull out light, if I can do it with one hand, oh. so it does extend all the way out. And this is all that I use for filming and you can swivel it around etc. It's a pretty good 
light, to be honest. It's not going to go back with one hand. So I'll stay there, that's fine. So my top drawer, my nose spray, because I always get blocked noses, chapped lips as well. These are little tags for when I've finished a page or I'm working on something. Uh, let me just pull this drawer out. Uh, my little glove for when I'm using uh, markers. Her clip to unblock the glossy accents. More to her ties. Um, this first palette is the GD colour. Let me switch that light back on and see if it, it will pick up with the light. Right. Ah, there you go. So the glitters. Watercolours, they're activated with water. They actually come with this little squeezer that you just pop in to activate it. I've got the KGA Designs by Karen, the Ocean Set, which, hmm, not saying anything else. But they're there, I'm keeping it at the top to make sure I use it more. And this is a mixed bag of GD Colour and KGA Designs by Karen. Uh, all different watercolours, like I said, different makes. That's why I keep them all in one tin. Q-tips, because I always need them for some sort of blending or if I make a, a mess and I want to neaten up a small area. Yeah, she's done it with one hand. <laughs> right, so this one, I keep all the, the washi tape that I currently own. A few bits and bobs. My stencil for making circles, I do actually use that as a ruler as well. My alcohol blender, and then my sheer one. All of my Pentel Hybrid Duo on the top, as well as the Sakura Jelly Roll, I think. There's the Stardust, there's the glittery ones, there's the metallic ones, uh, neon ones, and there's a couple of see-through colour ones. And these I actually got free as testers, the Derwent ones. So I'll just keep them in here to you know, remind myself that I've got them. My Neo Colour 2s, I try my best to keep them organised by colour. I've got two drawers with them. I've not actually counted how many I've got. I've definitely not got the full set, but I'll, you know, I'm happy with the selection of colours that I have got. Alright, so now it's to the messy underneath of the desk. So we'll start off first. This little basket houses some hard boiled sweets, because that's what I eat when I'm colouring half of the time. My zest it um blender, or pencil blender, the paint brushes that I use with the blender, uh, masking tape, more t tissues, PVA glue, the Mod Podge. I keep a li little Jasmine Beckett Griffith notebook there for video ideas and shopping lists and money etc etc. This uh, storage, the false level one, I've had this for a little while now, I can't take this out because it is too heavy. But it does house, can I open it without the ball falling out? It does house all of my stickles. So all of my stickles are in here, as well as my Dovecraft, the pearl effects. And there's a couple of Dovecraft um, glitters in there as well. So like I said, I'm more than happy with the selection that I've got there. I don't feel the need to, to go out and buy more of them. This storage solution has probably turned into a bit of a chuck it in drawers. Not as organised as I would like. We've got the uh, Ganzai Tambri, the Starry Night and the Pearl Colours. I've used these so much at the start. You know, I still use these now. Uh, gelatos. Four gelatos there. The Jane Davenport um, colour sticks in Silky Skin. They're very similar to the gelatos. I've got uh, blocks of ink tents, 12 of them in there because I just wanted to test them. Compressed white chalk, which I still need to play with. And a, a random neo colour one that um, Jackson Art sent me by mistake that I don't know how to use because it's not water soluble. This is the mess drawer. So I've got stickers galore in here, old nail polishes that I've used for backgrounds, fan pastel lids, there's just all sorts in there. Same as this one, this is sort of um, scrapbooking paper that I'll occasionally use for pictures as well as Posca pens, every single one of them. 
a finch from Lewis because it doesn't use them anymore. The top one is all stencils, cloths, old sponges, creating backgrounds, there's all sorts. I will just show you very, very quickly. It is a mess. I've, I do need to start a new one. But this is my swatch chart book. So if I'm using, obviously, any certain colours, this is the chart that I will come to. I've even, apologise for the dogs, I've even run out of pages now. So I've had to sort of put them on different paper and just slide them in. Evie, can you stop it, please? Uh, sorry about them. Let's see, there's the core I know ones. Um, what else have we got? Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens, the Neo Colour 2s, uh, Pan Pastels. Uh, there's all sorts in there. There's a couple of different blends that I've done, you know, for skin. There's my whole blinds because I was using them last night. I would prefer to have a small notebook and transfer everything over, uh, whether that's going to happen or not, because it's going to take a while to actually do. I don't know. Right, so back to the messy desk. I've got it's everything electrical in this basket. Laptop, odds and ends, uh, my Lemouche markers. Shall I pull them out? There they go. The 168 count. Uh, yeah, I do. I love them. I'm probably not going to be able to close them back now. So I'll have to stay there for now. Right. Wheelie round on my chair. I've got my old tripod microphone, the old tripod that I occasionally use. I've got some oil pastels behind there, some makeup sponges that I use for. You know, all sorts. I can use them for pan pastels, watercolours, anything. My Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens, uh, the Lemouchier Skin Set. That's what made me know that I would like them markers. I've got backups of Faber-Castell Polychromos in here. Backups of Prismacolor, which I probably should just pull this stuff out, really. It would be easier. Actually, thinking about it, that's not what's in here. The super tips are in here. Yeah, the Crayola super tips. I think there's 50 in there. I can't quite remember, if I'm honest. I can't quite remember. All this is the buffing. So they're the polychromos, all the singles that I've got. The Prismacolor, these were kindly gifted. My husband brought me back these from America, which I was very, very grateful for. Put them back on. Oof. Not very back on. Ooh. And these are the ones that I brought back from America. I was in, where was it? Target, because I needed to go and get bottles of water and stuff for the holiday, and I couldn't help myself. I didn't need them, but I couldn't help myself. It was the smallest. Largest pack, sorry, the largest pack they had. They didn't have the 72 or 150. God help me, if they had the 150, I would have been making sure that they fitted in my cases. <laughs> anyway. I've got a couple of notebooks down there. Again, just for writing notes and, you know, watching people's videos and taking notes. I've got bubble wrap that I've kept hold of just, just in case that I need it for any sort of project. And in this box, which was... Uh, present to my daughter, it was like a little uh, leopard print bag, it said Isabel and it did cute. Anyway, yeah, these uh, acrylics I brought back from America and it was super duper cheap. So I've got a mix of them, I've got a teaser in here and my very, very, very favourite of all the world, my Americana black acrylic and I've got a teeny tiny white because I know I don't, I don't use that too much. Again, there's sponges, you know, there's all sorts. So that is like a little quick overview. I'll just put my chair back and move back a little bit and you can get a good idea. Now that it's getting a bit darker, this is my area that I spend the majority of my evenings. Once my little girl's in bed, I'm here for the rest of the night. 
So like I said, I've got everything I need. I'm even lazy that if I need a new colouring book, I can wheel over to my bookshelf. If anybody's interested, I will do a updated um, PDFs or colouring books. I don't think I've ever done a PDFs uh, video at all. But yeah, the collection is growing, slowly but surely. Um, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but I don't know where to keep Serene. So it just sits at the top, unfortunately. But yeah, if you got to the end of the video, thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.